Hello and welcome back to Dragon Quest Walk Tutorials. I am Kohitsu GZ, and in this video, uh, I'd like to go over the new event, the new Halloween event. So, um, the <laughs> Strange Gathering and the Sealed Demons. So, of course, this is going to be Halloween themed, and as you can see, the uh, recovery spots have all become jack o' lanterns. So, <laughs> that's interesting, that's fun. So, uh, one of the first things I'd like to go over is. Uh, the event button right over here So you can see that uh, Duida's also uh, Duida's Tavern also has a Halloween themed um, So if you go over here, this is the uh, uh, Message board pretty much it has different types of tasks that people in the village want you to do so pretty much you get these done just by going around and uh, either touching recovery spots or uh, fighting particular monsters so uh, you get plenty of good items for this uh, as you keep uh, doing particular uh, tasks you can actually increase your ties or your uh, bonding with uh, Luida so at level one, you can actually exchange uh, with her you automatically. Then as you go up the particular levels, uh, you get di different items. So at level four, you can get um, the level two version of her items. Then as you go on, she actually has a soul. I have not actually looked at it yet, but I just might. Then you're gonna see some new things. Uh, for example, you have a new, uh, pretty much, uh, uh, new outfit for, uh, just wearing as a costume, so you have a mummy, then, again, you're gonna see, uh, Halloween Luida Soul, again, and then that's pretty much it, so in terms of the things, uh, well, that's it for pretty much here, but in terms of the things that you can exchange with, uh, that's going to be down here. Now here, if you tap on this, you'll be able to see exactly what you need, what you can actually purchase. So, for example, uh, you actually have the new uh, equipment for your uh, armamentalist. So, if I can buy... Ooh, okay, I cannot buy 10 of them. But, um... I'll probably have to do a lot more stuff. But pretty much what you're going to be doing is you're going to be collecting uh, these couple of items down here. Right here. So you're going to be collecting candy and uh, pretty much two different types of candy. So... Each candy is going to be used for specific things. So, for example, this one over here is going to be used for your uh, uh, different types of snack workshops. So, the snack workshop that's available right now is going to be this one, the cookie, the cookie workshop. So, as you level up the particular uh, cookie workshop, you're going to get uh, certain types of... Uh, uh, items or bonuses in battle so for example uh, this actually gives you uh, damage bonus against the new elite enemy so and then that goes all the way up all the way stops at level uh, what level is this? Okay, I, th uh, I think this is the amount that you have actually put into the into the uh, cookie workshops. So when I have put like 4,260 uh, particular items into the cookie uh, workshop, I will get this one. So the new uh, enemy is going to be called uh, the Pump Cabinet. <laughs> So it's actually a little bit play of words in the in Japanese. It sounds a little bit more uh, interesting because it's a play on words. But uh, if you see right over here, 
that is going to be the pump cabinet the new elite enemy so of course i am going to do a level 30 battle and most likely they're going to have a plus battle as well so i will definitely be doing those very soon then also what we're going to have so actually what i can do is tap on the cookie workshop for you so what i can do is i can actually make these uh particular items so for example the uh, i can make these the high level the high class cookie can but i need these two particular ingredients so i'm going to need uh what looks like uh sugar and then also uh cookie a uh, cookie fruit so if I tap on that to make it I can do so there and keep going okay and then that's all that I can do to actually make so what this does is that uh, probably each workshop can be leveled up to level 10 so but there are multiple workshops all around so if you um, level up the other workshops as well you're going to actually uh, accumulate more points in order to get the special bonuses against the pump cabinet okay uh, besides that uh, other things, so actually what I can do is, okay, I just needed a little bit more, but uh, no problem, actually, go back, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to purchase 10 of these for now, and real quick, what I'd like to do is actually go to the notice this section and then here so here you're going to have um, the particular new gear for this uh, arm for the armamentalist so uh, this is what it's going to look like for both male and female then if you scroll down again this new weapon is called the nightmare chain so it's going to have a new skill called Calamity Storm. So what it does is, uh, for one enemy, uh, this attacks one enemy using the power of both your attack and your offensive magic uh, for 240% boggy damage, uh, boggy physical technique damage. So. And then also, um, it looks like if Force Break is uh, actually used in this case, you actually gain uh, 20 MP if you're able to do Force Break. So actually, that's not bad. And then actually, okay, so it looks like um, most likely the uh, Pump Cabinet is going to be weak against Boggy. That's actually going to be great if uh, if I can get this particular weapon, that's going to be good. But uh, I also have the Claw of Black Storm, which is also Baki based, and that's going to be uh, that's going to do a lot of damage uh, to uh, this to the uh, pump cabinet. Then here you're going to have this eye patch. Um, so this is going to increase your boggy damage bug plus five. Um, if you are a armamentalist, you get plus two to boggy damage, and then it gives you plus five resistance against uh, demon type enemies. So you also have the coat, which gives you plus five uh, to special uh, boggy skill damage. Then you're going to have plus two for to boggy damage uh, for armamentalist, and then here you have a plus five resistance to Dorma. 
Then you have the coat bottoms. So again, plus five boggy resistance. Uh, um, sorry, plus five to uh, boggy special skill damage. Uh, plus two if you're armamentalist for boggy damage. And then here you have plus five uh, against uh, instant death. So what I actually would like to do is actually try doing a Fukubiki. Uh, I do have uh, 100 tickets. I probably will not get anything, but let's see what happens. Ooh. I don't think I'm getting anything. Yeah, it's garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. <sighs> yeah. You want the new gear, but, you know... Yeah, it'd be... I'm actually not that, um... Uh... I don't feel bad about not getting it. Mainly because I already have a really good, uh, boggy weapon. Uh, for my... on my ranger. So... That's gonna be useful, especially for, uh, trying to do shadow bind. So, in terms of the event so far, I think that might be it for this video. So, we have gone over the cookie factories and what they do. So, you're going to get some bonuses against fighting the pump cabinet over here. Uh, again, actually yesterday, the Hokoda reset. So, um, again, go out there, find, again, find those metal slime Hokodas. They give you a lot of XP. And one more quick thing that I want to go over. Um, there is actually an update that I actually forgot to mention. And it's going to be in this first one over here for the event. First part of the event. So, uh, I think I mentioned in a previous video, it looks like you're going to have some bonuses for the armamentalist. So yes, so I guess during this period, uh, uh, for your basic classes, the warrior and the mage are going to have plus 50% experience that you can have, and the armamentalist is going to get plus 20%. So uh, this is going to be very good, uh, especially right now I am leveling an armamentalist right now. I'm somewhat considering of changing my leveling party just a little bit, but uh, I'm not sure just yet. Um, what I really want to do, though, is actually uh, go into battle with um, the right here. So this right here is the pump, pump cabinet up close. So, uh, not you. Uh, but what I wanted to show you is the pump cabinet right here. So if I tap on him, you're going to see that uh, I have reached level 30. I haven't uh, tried level 30 out yet. Um, in all honesty, pretty much all the battles up to 29, I have auto-battled and have pretty much won. There was maybe one particular battle that I did that I actually had to stop and uh, heal one of my uh, party members real quick. But uh, so far... Um, well, I think mainly, mainly it's because of the equipment that I have on, uh, the Claws of Black Storm and that outfit boosts body damage. So that's actually going to do very well against this particular enemy, especially since I do not have the Nightmare Whip, which also does body damage as well. Um, then maybe another one. You're also going to have a new enemy for this particular period. Um, you're going to have, let's see, going to the Monster Index going to the events down at the bottom right here so you're going to have the Halloween Draki so pretty much like the same regular Draki except he has a little pumpkin uh, bucket for trick-or-treating so yeah um, I think that's actually all that I really wanted to go into for this particular vi uh, at the end of this video that I uh, just added on so yes, if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like. If you would like to see more, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.